more Chinese handhelds. So this week we're using a slightly different setup. I've got myself a new camera and new microphone, so we'll see how this goes. It's orange. It's got hideous clicky buttons. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, the screen's got a big dirty mark on it that doesn't want to come off. The box is nice. 1942, 90. Apparently there's 120 games on this, and I can probably believe that, despite the fact it says 248 in one all over it. Now, fair warning with this, the screen is absolutely abhorrent, so we're going to see whether we can film it or not. How do we turn it on? Upside down. Okie dokie. English. What games have we got then? Contra, FIFA. <laughs> yes, not FIFA. Uh, Twin B, Super Mario, Plants vs. Zombies, Arkanoid, 1942. Let's have a quick go on 1942 so I can show you this awful screen. Yeah, it's grainy, it's really, really horrible to look at. It's horrible to play on. But the emulation's pretty good, which is a surprise. Yep, that is indeed 1942. Reset. You've got to select English every time you turn it on, or Chinese if that's your relevant language. Bird Week, Battle City, Burger Time. What have we got? Dig Dog, Magic Bubble. <laughs> I go as as Obi. I go as Obi. Okay. Word Puzzle, Word Puzzle, King Creatures Syndicate. Okay. Animal Country, Sports, Food, Country. What? There's some sort of puzzle game? I, I, I don't understand what's going on. Make it away. What else have we got? Super Mario. Go on then, let's play Super Mario. Super Mario Bros. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell from the audio, but it's awful. Ooh. Yeah, hold the auto fire button to speed it up. There we go. Now we're dead. Well, that was enough Mario. What else have we got on here then? Oh, I should mention the unit takes three batteries. The speaker's in the back. Don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, the speaker in it is appalling and crackly and horrible. And uh, yeah, everything about it is terrible. In fact, everything about the whole unit is terrible. D-pad's not too bad, but it's unresponsive. Buttons are horrible. And did I mention it's bright orange? <laughs> right. What else have we got? Pinball. Let's play pinball. Pinball. One player game. Can we use auto fire on pinball? Oh yes, of course we can. <laughs> From what I remember, this is not a good pinball game. Because uh, you have very, very little control over what's actually going on. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, so from what I remember, the ball on this just sort of bounces around and you don't have any real control over where it goes or what happens. It just bounces off stuff and it's terrible. Yep, very, very little engagement. Okay, pinball gone. Let's see what else we've got, guys. Should have one or two more of these. I should mention this was very, very cheap, as you can imagine. So this was about six pounds off uh, AliExpress, which for you know a thing in a box with lots of Chinese writing on it isn't too bad. But you know you might get five minutes of fun out of this. But six pounds is it really worth it? We've looked at some far far better handhelds lately. Right, Toy Story, Toy Story. Let's play Toy Story. Excellent. Start or continue. Nothing else. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, it's some sort of Bomberman clone. Bomberman ROM hack of some kind? Okay. That's probably enough of that. What else have we got then? Go on, last one, and we'll call it a day. Uh, Hypersport, Joust, Jules, Millipede. 
Raid on bum. <laughs> Raid on bum. <laughs> uh, Space Invaders. Star! Go on then, let's play FIFA 2006. So, I believe this is Tecmo World Cup. FIFA 2006 Soccer. Yeah, let's be Holland. I always wanted to be Holland. Do, 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 do. I think that music's burned into my head now forever. Yeah, here we go. Tecmo World Cup. First game. And you can see, probably from the camera, that the screen is just doesn't handle vertical lines at all. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not not terribly good at Tecmo World Cup. I don't even know which colour I am. Pfft, I couldn't tell you if I've scored or the computer scored. Enough. Yeah, six pounds of fun. Three little batteries go in the back. I've played this for I've had at least a couple hours on it, and those uh, mix of Aldi and Kodak batteries have lasted for the entire time with no problem. So it's quite good on power at least. Well, yeah, that's probably the best thing you can say about it. Anything else in the box? Ooh, manual. What have we got? Third attentions. When the images come to abnormal, that may be because of insufficient energy. <laughs> I think that's probably where we'll leave it. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Subscribe.